I'm with my artistic partner, Yannick Nezet Sagan, who becomes officially the music director of the Metropolitan Opera, starting with the new season, uh, the 1819 season. Can you explain what is the, um, the difference between being the music director um, versus just being a great conductor, which of <laughs> course you are? Well, of course, um, every conductor that gets in front of this wonderful orchestra in this wonderful house with the best cast in the world and uh, the best chorus and all the greatest conditions um, is lucky to pursue um, the goal of excellence in the performance of any opera. And the difference becomes when there is the responsibility of being the music director uh, is to be the one responsible for keeping that quality. But to keep a certain quality also means to go f further. Because um, as we all know, I mean, it's the principle of life and of course certainly of management, but everything in life philosophically, that if you want to stay at the best of your capacities, you have to strive for better. You know, all the great conductors in history have had their own special uh, trademarks or techniques. You know, uh, when you think of Toscanini, who actually once was the conductor of the Met Orchestra, yeah. um, he conducted not only with his stick, but with his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was watching the other day uh, the camera shooting you in Electra uh, from the perspective of, of the orchestra. And uh, we're going to play that. So it's just the last minute of Electra. I know it's probably difficult for you to watch yourself, <laughs> but, yes, how, but how, if you were just to describe your technique, what, what is the trademark of, of, mm. of uniqueness as again, te conducting technique? Um, what has been taught uh, to me, especially by Maestro Giulini, the most important thing for the so-called clarity of a conductor is that it's clear in the mind. Therefore, if this, the minute you're thinking, oh, I'm going to do that gesture, it, the thinking makes it unclear. I feel I need to embody the music. It's not anymore about the tip of the stick or it's not anymore about how high my arm is. It's all about just be exactly emotionally and expressively in the moment. Uh, of course, while not losing sight of that, 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 that clarity, but I think if I know that the chord will be there, I'm not asking, I'm not second guessing myself. And that is, uh, I mean, I know it sounds simple and it's not as simple. No, it doesn't sound simple at all. <laughs> <laughs> at what point in your career did you reach the moment where you could do that? Mm. Was there a breakthrough that you can think of? Well, I wanted to say, do we ever reach it? <laughs> I, I, I think there was never a definite moment, but what I know is that I feel strongly that at this moment, I am experienced enough, both in symphonic and in opera rep repertoire, to be able to serve our house the best I could with my capacities. If had, it had been 10 years ago, I wouldn't have had this experience and this confidence. And now I'm still not too old, so I can actually uh, give all my energy to it. 
we all feel it too. I mean, I certainly feel it, and I know the members of the orchestra and the chorus and the singers on the stage, everyone feels that. So it's a, it's a very exciting time for yes, the Met. It, Thank it, you so much. It's a great pleasure, Peter, and I uh, can't wait to yes, uh, see the, all our audiences around the world next season. Well, they're excited to see you. <laughs> Thanks a lot.